The press conference provided an opportunity for the management of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex to review its operations over the last year and to outline its new plans and vision. The complex comprises of three facilities, namely the Owen King European Union Hospital, the National Mental Wellness Center, and the Turning Point Rehabilitation Center. This hospital admits in excess of 6,000 patients a year. It sees about 15,000 patients in its outpatient clinics. Our accident and emergency department sees on average about 15,000 patients a year. It's quite a busy facility. Um, we do about 1,900 surgeries of different types. Deliveries, it's, under 11, it's, it's a little over 1,100. And we see at least 94 patients at our hemodialysis plant here at the hospital. Dr. James noted that the facility has been collecting data on patients' experience. The process uses a software called Power BI and questionnaires, which measures the happiness factor of the services provided to the accident and emergency patients. There's a fair amount of happiness with respect to nursing care and attention, uh, interaction between our caregiver and, and the patient. Where we fell down is with respect to supporting staff going to the bathrooms. Um, quality of our meal services is not up to par, all right? Um, and to a lesser extent, they're comfortable with privacy, treatment for pain management, uh, staff courtesy and respect, all these are given fairly good scores. However, the chief executive officer says the hospital is not without its challenges. He cited irregular wait times to financial constraints, which impact maintenance of the facility. Dr. James says areas of concern for outpatient care and A&E were access to diagnostics and waiting times. The complex also questioned patients on their likelihood to recommend someone to the hospital using the net promoter score method. This metric, 73% of the patients that were interviewed at this hospital in the month of December said that they were very likely, unlikely, to make a recommendation for the, their friends or their relatives to use the hospital. So in spite of what you may hear, the hospital still enjoys a fair amount of goodwill with the, with, with the constituents that we serve. And Dr. James also gave some insight into the board's commitments for 2023. So our priorities really is built around what is called people first. The first, the F in the first stands for improving our fiscal management and performance. The I speaks to building our internal capacity in terms of goodwill, in terms of our finances, in terms of our, our, um, our credibility with the, with, the, with the public, in terms of our financial strength. This is what it is about. Revenue generation is finding ways to generate new sources of revenue. We are not increasing the fees. Contrary to the view, no fees will be increased, but we, finding, we have to find ways to stop the bleeding where it exists. All we're seeking to do is to collect the funds that are legally and lawfully due to us so that we could have the funds to be able to replenish and keep the system going. The board of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex says they are looking forward to implementing the new plans during the course of 2023 in an effort to enhance the quality of service provided by the facility. It is also the intention of management to keep open communication with the wider public on the performance of the facility. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Santa Justin.